Uh, what did I think about being in Harlem for the first time? Uh, it's cool. Uh, very cold, very cold. Uh, but being in the stadium, it's uh, it's one of the biggest stadiums I've uh, I've been in. Um, I've went to uh, Lille, and it's, a, it's it's bigger than Lille, and uh, I've also went to uh, the Switzerland. It's a little bit bigger. So um, overall, I think it's it's cool here. Um, I haven't seen the fans yet, so I have to wait till tomorrow to see them. And um, so far, I've been enjoying myself. I went downtown and in, uh, in the center, and you know, see some different people and cultures and stuff like that. So it's cool. So um, so far, I've been enjoying my time. Ja, de baan is, uh, is, uh, is groot. Uh, de grond is super, dus uh, ik ben positief verrast uh, met de eerste keer dat ik hier binnenkom. Uh, na het rijden, ja, nog steeds uh, goed gevoel erover. Het moet allemaal nog uh, een beetje aanharden. Ze zullen nog wel uh, een beetje aan de baan. Uh, ze zijn nu bezig met de baan, dus uh, het zal nog wel wat uh, veranderen vergeleken met morgen. Uh, maar ja, kijk, we zijn met een paar man bezig geweest. Uh, iedereen is wel aan het proberen geweest. De ene springt net iets verder dan de ander. Dus, uh, dus eigenlijk best wel wat opties. Dus eigenlijk dat is wel positief voor, uh, voor de wedstrijd. Nou, ik heb ridden quite a bit. Uh, my preparations for this is uh, just honestly have fun. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's not about winning or lose, because I mean, I feel that all the riders, technically, we've all won because there's a reason why we showed up here. You know, there's a reason why, you know, the promoters want us to be here. So um, it's a matter of just being safe and then going back home, you know. And, um, you know, everybody wants to win. Of course, when you're racing, you want to win. Uh, that's that's obviously the goal. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to do whatever I can to uh, have fun here. Yeah, it's good. Uh, we could roll a little bit this morning to see the track. So uh, I think it's really good. They did a pretty good job because uh, it's for me it's quite a big stadium. It's a little bit like SMX last uh, yeah, in two weeks time. So uh, I think it's like it, it's quite big, it's quite fast. So the track will look really good and then uh, like all the jump are, most of the jump are safe. Uh, so that's the main point and uh, I think we're going to have some good show uh, tomorrow. No, I mean, it wasn't necessarily too big of a decision because, I mean, I I mean, I mean, just kind of decided to go. I mean, my, my brother wasn't going, so, I mean, it just kind of, you know, if he wasn't going, it, it wasn't it wasn't like a, I didn't really think twice about it. You know, I just decided to come over here and race and, um, you know, have more fun. I like going, I like traveling anyway, so... Uh, if I get the chance, I mean, especially if it's a place I've never been, well, you know, why not? I, Rebel Street Rhythm will always be around. Like, you know, you'll never know. I, ne I might never ever come back to, you know, RM. So it's one of those things. The Supercross is toch vlak. Dus ik denk dat Sandstuk is. Ze zeggen altijd in Sandstuk kun je misschien het verschil maken, maar het ligt eraan of dat ze hem bijhouden, ja of nee. Als ze er niks aan doen en er komen wat sporen in, ja, dan denk ik wel dat je. Dat je er wel iets, iets verschil in kan maken, maar als ze hem echt bijhouden, dan, uh, dan denk ik dat de hele baan wel uh, redelijk snel gaat worden. Uh, de wasbord ligt er, uh, ligt er mooi rond in, dus uh, niet gevaarlijk. Er liggen eigenlijk weinig gevaarlijke punten in, dus uh, dat, is, dat is positief voor de rijder zelf. Dan wordt er toch iets meer op het grensje, grensje gezeten, dus voor de wedstrijd is dat wel, uh, wel leuk om te zien. Uh, what are my expectations is moving up from lights to the 450 class? Um, honestly, I mean... I don't know until I show up. Uh, I mean, of course, you know, coming off a of lights championship, you, you know, you are pretty confident. So um, you got to find, you got to find that rhythm. You know, it's uh, it's not about you know winning a race one night or, or you know doing good. It's it's more consistent and being you know there's there's well there's 17 races, so um, that's a lot of races. You know, versus in lights class is only nine, so double the race. Um, it's going to be fun. I'll, I'm sure I'll have fun doing it and uh, I'll find where I would be at. And I'm, you know, obviously the goal is to be up top. Yeah, yeah I'm training more on, on Supercross this year because uh, yeah, the first time I did was last year, like you say, in Bercy. And then I really enjoy it, um, like especially uh, in my young career, I never rode Supercross before. Uh, and now to like last year was quite difficult because I didn't have so much riding before Lille and also like with the 450 to learn with the 450 it's like it's easy to make a mistake with the power we, we had. So uh, it was uh, difficult but I think we 
With my team, we saw some good points to ride Supercross also for the motocross season. So it's why we do a little bit more this season. Uh, yeah, it's only two rides, but uh, like I, I get already some good training in Italy the last past week. So uh, I think it's, uh, it's really good for, yeah, to have some good feeling on the bike as well and to do something different as well with the bike. So yeah, we, we are looking forward for, for this race. Oh uh, yeah, no, he helped me this year. Um, is, you know, he's the one that helped me a lot this year, especially when I was in a, in a bind uh, competing with, for the championship. So, um, I mean, overall, I'm, I'm pretty, I was pretty happy once I won the championship and, um, you know, I took some time off and, you know, this would be my first race in, you know, it's about six months, or so, who knows, so, so, um, I mean, I don't know, take things slow, you know, get through the, you know, these rounds, these Euro rounds safe and, you know, show up in I won. Casper is always well my, een soort van vrienden geweest. Dus, uh, het, is een, het is een nieuw, oude, oude nieuwe team, dus uh, ik voel mij hier heel, heel relaxed bij. Uh, we zijn hier echt om een weekend le le lekker te gaan crossen, dus uh, uh, het oude gevoel is wel weer even terug en dat is nou wel genieten, maar uh, ja, ik, uh, ik, ik pak het op het moment wel serieus aan. Uh, ik wil graag voor hun uh, presteren. De punten waar ik het heb laten liggen, drie jaar geleden, wil ik, uh, wil ik het graag nog goed maken. Uh, maar uh, voorbereidingen hebben we heel weinig gehad. Ik heb drie dagen op de motor ge gezeten en dat was dus afgelopen week. Uh, ik heb drie maanden een uh, soort van vakantie gehad, uh, weinig doelen gehad. Het, was, uh, het zag er een beetje somber in. Uh, maar ik ben blij dat ik nou een motor beschikking heb, dat ik lekker weer kan gaan rijden en uh, dat we er een leuke show voor kunnen maken. Ja, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a little disappointing, but um, I mean, at the, at the level that you know, he's at, you know, it's. Uh, you know, it's either good or bad. And, you know, as what he's accomplished, a lot of I was never, ever do. And, uh, I mean, I'm to the, I mean, I kind of, I still look at him like, you know, I'm like a big fan of him, you know, just of what he's, what he's done and how he's made the sport, you know, of scrubbing and things like that, the speed, potential of pushing it to the max. Like it's, uh, it's unbelievable. So yeah, it sucks to see him, uh, you know, down and, and hurt, but I mean, every, at the end of the day, I mean, Every rider has, you know, got hurt or something, or something's happened. We, I mean, this is a dangerous sport. So, I mean, if you don't come in completely prepared or, or anything, things happen, you know. So, it's just a matter of being safe and try to eliminate as much as possible. Yeah, like uh, for Supercross, uh, for sure, it's much better as last year. Um, like you say, I didn't ride so much before last year. Like I had four days only before Lille, I remember. So. We just like uh, try to be safe on the track and that's it. Like we didn't look for the, like to be fast. So this year we just have more, much more time. So we, my speed, it's getting better every time I, I, I go riding. And then for sure we improve the bike as well, especially the suspension. It's, it's uh, I think not bad from, not, not far from what they use in US. So, uh, it's good and I'm, I'm safe, I feel safe on the bike, uh, that's the main point and then uh, like after I can go fast as well, so it's good. The Deonymous Veld is wel iets uitgebreider dan dat we gewend zijn in Nederland, dat sowieso. Uh, de organisatie uh, uit Italië is, is ook flink aan het pushen geweest denk ik. Uh, het is heel mooi om, om vanuit verschillende werelddelen rijders uh, te krijgen en, en, en ook sowieso verschillende soorten. Uh, uh, niveaus. Kijk, uh, Ramet is een, is een goede supercrosser. Uh, Geiser en, en Faber is een wereldkampioen. Uh, Stuart uh, ja, de, spreekt voor zichzelf, snap je? Dus, uh, ja, kijk, en, en er komen ook Nederlanders. Dus het is heel mooi om, om alles bij elkaar te zetten en alles in één stadion. En, en alles op een paar ronden tijd uh, in, in, een, in een supercross uh, te stoppen. Dus uh, het zou heel mooi worden als, uh, als, als de wedstrijd uh, begint. Ah, uh, I mean. You necessarily you can't compare apples to apples because I mean one you're coming over to Europe the stadium isn't as big as it is in the, in the U.S. Uh, because we're used to big football stadiums and things like that so as well as the dirt here um, every time I came over to Europe the dirt's a lot more softer because it's been it's always wet over here so it's a little bit more difficult um, some tracks in the U.S. are kind of like that but you know you can't. You can't compare everything to, together. So, I mean, overall, I think this is a good track to, to try to prepare for Supercross to get you back in the moment. So, a lot of the tracks that the riders do ride on in the U.S. are kind of built like that. So, it's not too, 
peak and um, and then you kind of work your way up to more technical but for a starter track i think this is probably one of the best starter tracks that i've seen and for for europe as far as competition wise and we have a lot of great riders here so um it should be good i think it's uh it's it's not necessarily uh, it's all about really who gets a good start and I mean the tracks kind of it's a little easier so it's, you got to push the limit to, to be the best and I'm okay with that. <laughs>